guys, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna check out the Happy Everyday by Channel Island Surfboards. So the Happy Everyday I have is a 510, uh, and I believe the stock dimensions are 510, 19, three quarters, two and a half, and it's 30.9 liters, or 30.7 liters. Uh, I went two and nine sixteenths just to add a little bit more thickness, and I think it comes in at just shy of 32 liters. Uh, I'm 510 and a half, and I'm 92 kilos. Um, so the Happy Everyday, well, is the latest kind of uh, model from that kind of Happy family. It's the newest iteration of the Happy from Channel Islands. You would have seen about two or three years ago. We checked out the Happy in um, PU and Spine Tech. We're lucky enough to take it to Indonesia. Got some waves that like Uluwatu, some local waves. Had a lot of fun. Um, since then, I've also had a couple of Happy Travelers, which I'll talk more about later and also in a separate review. Uh, and when I got this, I also got a two Happy because I want to be able to compare the two boards because there's a lot of similarities, but also a lot of differences. So looking over the Happy every day, um, what they've done from the two Happy is they have flattened out the entry uh, and exit rocker to keep a little bit flatter through the front and back ends. So what's that's going to do? It's going to give you like increased uh, paddle power and planing speed. So when you're paddling, it's going to get up, paddle really well, be quick, and then it's going to plane really well across flat sections. Um, the outline stays fairly wide, uh, holds a bit of width through the nose, width throughout the board, and then it feels like there's a really nice hip just here. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, it feels like it kind of pulls in, it stays wide to in front of the back fin, or the front fin, uh, and then it comes in and narrows in. But in saying that, the tail block is still pretty wide. So you'd probably be familiar if you've seen us do any Channel Islands review. Love the Dane Reynolds flat two-piece pads. Uh, you can see the width of the pad, it never changes, but there's still a lot of board outside around the edge of the pad and I've spread it out. So you can see that tail block for 510 is quite wide. Uh, it's also quite thick under the back foot. So that's gonna give you a whole bunch of foam under your back foot, make it really easy to surf, kind of like a gas pedal, just to keep speed in flat and weak conditions and to get down the line or whatever surfing you're doing. Uh, flipping over the Happy Every Day, Channel lines have kept it really, really simple. There's a single through the front of the board. There's a double through the fins, and it feels like the double goes out through the tail. There's a little bump there on the stringer and behind the back fin, but I think that's just a continuation of the double. I don't think it's a V out through the back. So I've been lucky enough, I've had the Happy Every Day for a few months now. And I've been able to surf in a variety of conditions, kind of from like uh, waist high, little junky sort of stuff, uh, through to some bigger onshore, offshore, some good days, Pretty much surfed it in all the conditions I get around. Like we live in Sydney, so you know your metro kind of beach breaks. I've surfed in a whole variety of conditions that you'd normally get in those sort of beaches. Um, that's funny, the happy every day they've really pushed as like a groveler, something you get out when waves are weak and you want to rip it up, but the waves are pretty crappy. And I did that pretty well. But what surprised me when I grabbed the happy every day, I also grabbed the two happy and I'd surf the happy, and I felt like those boards did that pretty well as well. But this does increase the grovel ability, or grovel ability, I don't even know if that's a word. Uh, it's wider through the front end, it holds like volume under your chest for paddling, and it's wide through that back end. And the single to double is really flat and really easy to surf across, you know, weak and, and gutless kind of waves. What I felt was probably a good point for the happy uh, every day, being short and being wide, and, but still having like a really kind of high performance DNA being built around the happy, I felt like it was a really good performance shortboard for maybe someone who's like a beginner to intermediate. You know, they might be on a, you know, like a Ultra Joe, a Hypto Crypto or something like that, and they want to move towards a shortboard. Um, I felt like the Happy Every Day is probably like a really good step into like that realm of shortboards. I think some people that maybe, you know, or they're just progressing a surfing, maybe they started surfing later in life, um, they can find shortboards a little bit daunting. I think this is a really good stepping stone shortboard. While you do have this performance uh, pointy nose at the front, which is, you know, pretty daunting for some people, through the center, through the belly and the back end when you're surfing is all a very forgiving and a very easy to surf surfboard. So I guess that does what they've designed it for, which is to surf in pretty crappy, junky beach break conditions, which it does really, really well. But I also would really be recommending this board for someone who is stepping into that realm of, you know, wanting to go from a beginner to an advanced and maybe like their first shortboard or get it on board with a bit of a pointier nose so they can look like everyone else out in the lineup. Uh, in the happy every day, I find it, or with any Channel Islands board, Al Merrick, Brit Merrick, whatever, I find it really hard to go past an AM template and a fin. Look, you know, Al, Brit, Channel Islands, they've designed this fin, this template. It, it is, you know, it's proven. They design these rails, these outlines, these concaves, and they just all mesh really, really well together. So I found it hard to go past the AM2s. I put them in, 
felt perfect. You know, if you've got a fin that you've got like a, a speed generating fin or something else you want to try, something you like, I'm sure they'll be perfect. Um, so these are the AM2s, so that's a large. Um, the AM1's a little bit smaller for like a medium. This is a large. The AM is a rake template if you're not familiar with it. Look, I surf it in most of my shortboards. It's a template I really like. I've surfed it for 10, 15 years. Really, really like it. And it went absolutely perfect in the happy every day. But if you want to like trial around with different fins, anything you're not you're quite familiar with, anything you like, or if you want to have a speed generating fin because it is a bit of a groveler uh, that would be perfect too um, overall i really like the happy every day uh, i have not been surfing as much as i'd like to you know life kids work and everything's really got in the way i think my surf fitness is down and probably my surf performance is down as well but the happy every day made my surfing experience really really easy i've also been riding a lot of like higher volume kind of twin fins and fun boards um, and I've also been enjoying like step ups, even when it hasn't been that big, I've been enjoying running step ups just for the paddle power. Uh, but getting on the happy every day was super refreshing. Uh, it paddles really easy, gets across, flat, gets across flat sections. You know, I surfed it in like one to two foot shories and it went really well. I also surfed it in some of the clips you'll see where it's kind of four to six foot onshore, but there's a bit of push. The board surfs really well, it handles that stuff like a performance shortboard. It is just a little bit more forgiving due to its kind of compact, wider and thicker outline. Look, overall, Love the happy every day. I'd recommend it to anyone. If you're a, you're a high performance, advanced surfer, uh, it's a great groveler. You're gonna get on it. It's gonna make the most of crappy beach breaks. You know, the, the waves when you probably don't normally wanna go out or they don't look that enticing, but it's also gonna hold its own when it gets a little bit bigger and a little bit better. If you're a beginner towards an intermediate, you're looking for a new shortboard, or like I said, you wanna make that move across to a shortboard from something more forgiving, I think the happy every day is a really forgiving uh, and easy kind of landing pad into the world of high performance shortboards. Look, overall, I loved it. Thanks so much for Channel Islands, the guys at Onboard Store uh, for the chance to check it out and hopefully you get a ch chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.